I'm The Lawnsmith and in this video I'm going to show you how to mix two types of soluble product for your lawn. The first one is ferrous sulphate which is a high iron treatment. It has various uses as well as being a moss killer. And the second one is soluble fertilizer which you can use to fertilize the lawn anytime from spring right the way through to autumn. As regards kit, for a small lawn, a watering can with a sprinkle bar is perfectly adequate. If you like things as easy as possible or you have a larger lawn, then you'll certainly want to be using a knapsack sprayer. Okay, let's now work out our mixture. It says on the top that for a lawn area of 100 square meters, we want to be using for ferrous sulfate, 50 to 100 grams will give us a green up. 150 to 200 grams is used as a pre-winter treatment to harden the grass against frost and disease. And four to 500 grams is the concentration used in moss killers and will cause blackening. For the soluble fertilizer here, four to 600 grams, depending on the condition of the grass. Now, the amount of water to use is a guide only. To work out how much you need, all you need to do is put 10 liters of clean water in your watering can or your knapsack sprayer Start at one end of the lawn, spray the lawn systematically till you get to the other end, a bit like as if you were mowing the lawn. Keep a tally of how much you use, including refills, and if the amount fits in with the guide quantities that we've got here, 8 to 12 litres for a knapsack sprayer, 25 to 50 litres per 100 square metres of lawn, as long as it fits in with that, then you've worked out the volume of water that is suitable for you, your lawn, and the equipment you're using. However, what you will find that most people use an awful lot less. So what this means is you have to go and spray the lawn perhaps two or even three times. For an example, if I were to use the knapsack sprayer with the blue nozzle, I would use three litres of mixture to spray 100 square meters of lawn. But because it's necessary to give everything a good soaking, I need to go over the lawn three times to be able to bring the volume up to nine liters fitting in with our guide quantities. That is not a lot of extra work because it only takes about five minutes to spray 100 square meters of lawn three times. It takes less than half an hour to spray a tennis court three times as well. Okay, time to make up our mixture. Procedure is the same whether you're going to use ferrous sulfate or soluble fertilizer, a watering can, or a knapsack sprayer. First of all, you need a nice safe place to be mixing up your chemicals. Don't use the lawn. Secondly, I like to wear some eye protection to protect from splashes and some rubber or nitrile gloves. Now these are nitrile gloves, they're chemical resistant. And you will find if you're messing around with ferrous sulfate, it stains everything, including your hands. So good idea to be wearing some gloves. First, we need to work out how much water we need. I'm going to mix for a small lawn of 50 square meters. So that is four to six liters if I was using a knapsack sprayer and 12 to 25 liters if I'm using the watering can. Now I'm going to mix for a watering can and I've, because I've done a test spray before, I know that if I'm using a watering can, I need 16 liters of mixture to spray 50 square meters of lawn three times. Now I haven't got anything big enough for 16 liters, so I've got two buckets here, each of eight liters of water. It's warm water as well, which helps soluble products dissolve that bit more quickly. Right, next we need to measure the product. I'm going to use ferrous sulfate and I'm going to use this at the high rate, which is 500 grams. But because my lawn is 50 square meters, I need to use half that amount, which is 250 grams. I need to split that into the two buckets. So I need 125 grams on each bucket. If you haven't got any scales handy where you can measure 125 grams, then what you can use, you can use a measuring jug because one kilo of ferrous sulfate or one kilo of soluble fertilizer is about 1.2 liters in volume. So my 125 grams that I need to use is in actual fact gonna to convert to 150 mils. Right, that's my 150 mils. Now just remember, 
Because we increase the volume of water so that we could spray the lawn three times, we don't increase the volume of product. So all I need to do now is to pour that into my bucket and give that a really good stir. Now, because it can be difficult to dissolve soluble products so the whole lot dissolves, what happens is the granules that get left behind that didn't dissolve start blocking up the nozzles of the uh, weed killer sprinkle bar, your knapsack sprayer and that sort of thing. So to avoid that happening, all you need to do is follow this procedure. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this into my watering can. Right, there we are, and if Andy the cameraman can take a close-up look, what you'll see in the bottom there with the dregs is about a cup full of water and the granules that didn't dissolve first time around and will cause blocking in your equipment. So, all you need to do now is go and put that on the lawn. You can watch the next video and you'll see how to do that. If you're making up more mixture, then you can use the same bucket because some more will dissolve second time around. Thanks for watching The Lawnsmith.